For the first time ever, we've seen what no one else has, the sun's hidden South Pole. Until now, this region remained unseen, but in a bold move, ESA and NASA's solar orbiter tilted its orbit just enough to glimpse it. What it found was a chaotic web of magnetic activity, confirming long-standing theories that this region plays a central role in the sun's magnetic field reversal every 11 years. This isn't just a new angle. It's a breakthrough that could reshape how we predict solar storms and understand our star. In this episode, we'll explore what the orbiter discovered, why it matters, and what it means for the future of solar science. In March 2025, the Solar Orbiter, launched by ESA and NASA in 2020, captured the first ever direct images of the Sun's South Pole. To do that, the spacecraft tilted 15 degrees below the solar equator, enough to view the previously uncharted polar region. What it recorded was a fragmented magnetic landscape revealing both north and south magnetic polarities scattered across the surface. Until now, scientists had only predicted this behavior through simulations. This discovery provides confirmation of those models. Instead of a simple, uniform magnetic zone, the South Pole displayed complex patterns, evidence that this region plays a critical role in the Sun's 11-year magnetic cycle. The Sun doesn't rotate evenly, its equator spins faster than its poles, which causes magnetic field lines to twist, tangle, and eventually flip. The South Pole is one of the main sites where this buildup begins, with the sun nearing its solar maximum when magnetic activity peaks. These observations are perfectly timed. They give us a front row seat to the forces that drive sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. This view isn't just historic, it's essential. It sets the stage for better understanding how the sun's internal mechanics shape space weather that affects our technology and planet. The sun's poles have long been a mystery, but now we know they are key to how the star functions. Every 11 years, the sun's magnetic poles reverse, a process that drives changes in solar activity. Flares, sunspots, and massive plasma eruptions all link back to this cycle. Yet, without direct observations of the poles, our understanding was limited. That's what makes these new images so important. They provide the first real-world look at the origin points of magnetic field flips, the root of the entire solar cycle. The fragmented pattern seen at the South Pole matches what solar dynamo models have long suggested but couldn't verify. Why does this matter? because solar activity influences Earth. When the sun acts up, it can unleash geomagnetic storms that affect satellites, GPS signals, aviation, and even electrical grids. Better data from the poles means better models. And better models mean better forecasting of solar events, something vital for protecting both our infrastructure and future space missions. This discovery also unlocks new questions. Do these tangled magnetic fields contribute to coronal heating? Can we trace the origin of solar wind back to the polar structures? Are there unique plasma flows forming in these regions? By answering these questions, Solar Orbiter is not just helping us understand this cycle, it's giving us tools to prepare for its consequences. We now have the foundation to improve how we model, forecast, and react to the sun's behavior. The best part? We're only at the beginning. The March 2025 flyby was just the first glimpse. Over the next few years, Solar Orbiter's orbit will tilt even higher, reaching 24 degrees in 2026 and 33 degrees by 2029. These future passes will give scientists even clearer images of the North and South Poles, improving our overall picture of the Sun's magnetic engine. Each new view will help scientists track how the polar regions change over time, especially as we move into solar minimum, the calm phase of the cycle. That continuity of data is critical. The mission will also work alongside others. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which is flying closer to the sun than ever before, and ESA's upcoming vigil mission, designed to monitor solar activity in real time. Together, they'll offer a multi-angle, multi-layered perspective on the sun. 
This collaboration could transform the way we predict solar storms, design future spacecraft, and safeguard astronauts on deep space missions. The more we learn about the poles, the better we can understand not just when the sun will flare, but how and why it does. That's crucial for long-term planning in space exploration and infrastructure on Earth. And we may find surprises, hidden structures, plasma jets, maybe even entirely new magnetic phenomena. Polar regions could hold answers to why the sun's atmosphere is so hot or how solar winds form and accelerate. One thing's for sure, this mission is moving us from theoretical models to real-world solar physics. The age of polar solar science has begun. We've finally seen the sun's south pole, and it's more chaotic, complex, and revealing than expected. Thanks to Solar Orbiter, scientists now have the first direct evidence confirming decades of theory about how the sun's magnetism works. What comes next could reshape our understanding of not just the sun, but how stars behave throughout the universe. See you next time.